Number four says, during a collision with a wall, the velocity of a ball changes from 20 meters per second to 12 meters per second away from the wall. At the time the ball was in contact with the wall was 60 milliseconds. What was the magnitude of the average force applied to the ball? Let's think about how to attack this problem. Okay, this would be a very good problem to understand. So the problem looks like this. We've got a brick wall. We've got a super ball that comes in, bounces off the wall. It's coming in at VI. It's going to bounce off the wall, come back out at some VF. And they give us a few things. So they give us the mass of the ball, 0 0.2 kilograms. They give us the speed going in, 20 meters per second, the speed coming out. 12 meters per second. And they also give us delta T, which is 60 milliseconds. And we are looking for the average force exerted by the wall on the ball. Okay. How do we do this problem? Who has a thought? Is this an energy problem? Should we do like energy and work here? Probably not, right? What do you think? Okay, if we could find the acceleration there, that would do it. I think that's a great idea. But this is also sort of buried in the idea of momentum, right? Namely, when we talked about momentum, we said there's this thing called impulse. An impulse we wrote with a capital J for some stupid reason. J was what? It was delta P, but it was also F delta T. Okay, remember that? Impulse was F delta T. This is, of course, going to figure it out in terms of the acceleration because there is a change in velocity. So it looks like we have just about everything we need because F av is going to be delta P over delta T. And we know what delta P is. Delta P is M V final minus M V initial over delta T, which is exactly what you said, right? Change in velocity over change in time, that is like an acceleration. All right, let's simplify this a little bit more. M times VF minus VI over delta T. So what numbers should I plug in here? I've got 0 0.2 for the mass. What should I plug in for VF? Should I plug in 12? Or should I plug in something else? Remember, this VF is a vector. It has a sign to it. So we need to figure out what direction is positive. Why don't we just make this direction positive? And so if that direction is positive, VI is certainly positive 20 meters per second. But what's VF? negative 12 meters per second because it's going in the negative direction. And so this is where you have to be a little bit careful when you write down those givens. All right, so now we have negative 12 minus VI, which we said was 20, and we're going to divide by 60 milliseconds. Milla is 10 to the minus 3. So somebody punch this into your calculator. I will see if I can approximate it here. So this is 0 0.2 times negative 32 divided by 6 times 10 to the minus 2. And so what do we get? Uh, this is 2 times 3.2 over 6 times 10 to the minus 2 
that has got to be pretty close to 1. 3.2 over 6 is a little bit bigger than a half. So this is going to be, I'm going to say, 1.1, and then we've got a times 10 to the 2. So that's what I would say. What, anybody get a real answer for that? Somebody punch into your calculator? What? 106.67? Okay, so 107 newtons. All right, so our guess was a little bit off, not too bad. So is that one of the answers? That is. That is answer C. Anybody out there choose C? No? Somebody had C. There was one vote for C. Maybe we just guessed, right? <laughs>